On the first day of Festivus, Procreate gave to we a magic way to draw perfect shapes without using French curves, circle templates, or even straight edges. Hey everyone, James here, and it's day one of the 12 days of Procreate, where every year I share my favorite ways that Procreate takes your design and rendering talents to the next level. So get out your iPads, download the free assets in the description below, and get ready to learn how with one simple trick, Procreate can turn any messy curve, circle, square, or triangle you draw into a perfect shape. To use Drawing Assist in all of its many modes, select a brush, Make a sketch of any kind for a freehand line. Make a long, slow arcing curve. Then hold the tip of the pencil down to make that curve snap into a more perfect curve. And use the tip of the pencil to resize and reposition that curve. To use Drawing Assist to create a perfect shape, Approximate that shape first freehand, then tap and hold down your other finger, and that shape will become a perfect square. Note also that that square can be rotated in 15 degree increments as long as your finger is down. When you lift your finger, the square goes back to the freehand square you drew and rotates smoothly in all directions. Put the finger down again, and it locks it into a perfect square. The same is true for a rectangle and triangle. Notice that my bad triangle becomes a perfect isosceles triangle when I hold and tap my finger down and again rotates in 15 degree increments. And to approximate a circle, draw your best attempt at a circle first. Notice that Procreate will turn any poorly drawn circle into at least an ellipse. And then to turn that ellipse into a perfect circle, while your pencil tip is down, just tap your finger. Tap your other finger down and resize that circle however you would like. To draw a straight line, make a freehand line anywhere then just hold the tip of the pencil down at the end of the stroke and the line will become perfectly straight and infinitely rotatable. Then just lift your pencil and that line will stop in that position. Again, draw your best freehand line, hold the tip of the pencil down and the line follows the tip of the pencil until you release. To make that line stay within a 15 degree world of angles, hold down your finger and move the tip of the pencil and the line will snap 15 degrees at a time, 15, 30, 45, 60, etc. To use drawing assist in drafting mode, Tap on the Actions menu, tap on the Canvas tab, Activate Drawing Guide, tap Edit Drawing Guide, choose whether to draft in 2D grid mode, isometric mode, or perspective mode. For 2D grid mode, tap Adjust the Opacity and thickness of your guidelines and adjust the grid size as you wish. To assign a number to the grid, tap inside and tap in a number and that number will stay. When you're done setting it up, press the Done button, go back to your Layer menu, tap on the layer and tap on the Drawing Assist option. And now all of the lines you draw will be either vertical or horizontal. If you need to draw a line at an angle within this world, just 
draw the line and hold the pencil at the end of the line and rotate it as you would any other line. And remember, you still have the option of holding your finger down and locking that line into 15 degree increments. To draw freehand again inside a layer that has Drawing Assist activated, tap the layer, untap Drawing Assist, and you can go back to freehand drawing. To use Drawing Assist in Perspective Mode, locate the horizon line of the elevation you wish to draw in perspective. Tap on the Actions menu and Canvas tab. Activate the Drawing Guide. Tap Edit Drawing Guide. Switch to Perspective Mode and then tap on the vanishing point in the middle of the room for a one-point perspective. Press Done. Add a new layer for your drawing. Select a color. Select a pen or pencil. Activate Drawing Assist inside the new layer. Activate the brush and simply draw your room in the new layer. Coming in from the corners, automatically coming in towards the vanishing point. Voila. To Erase lines that go too far. Choose one of the eraser brushes. Adjust the size. And draw along the same drawing assist axis. Notice that even these lines will follow the drawing assist, making it tricky to erase some things. So you can turn off Drawing Assist and then erase on a more freehand basis. Then reactivate Drawing Assist. Select the brush again and finish your sketch. Notice also that in addition to the lines following to the vanishing point, you'll also retain the ability to draw verticals and horizontals. Be sure to watch all 12 days of Procreate Festivus on your local YouTube channel, and I'll see you tomorrow for day two. And remember, at the end of all this, there'll be a playlist of all 12 days of Procreate, so you can take your design and rendering talents to the next level with Procreate. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you soon.